Industry 4.0 has been on everybody's lips for quite a few years now. So Matt, in regards to Hexagon, how can people embrace it and it really make an impact on their business? I think, Lindsay, impact, Industry 4, as you, you mentioned, has been a, a kind of key topic for a while. And what we've understood as a business is that actually sometimes people need the, the kind of main pillars of Industry 4 really bre breaking down. So Industry 4 has been represented by nine key pillars, and this has been defined for a number of years, um, which you, you can kind of see on the, the TV behind me. But actually one thing that we've really realised over recent months is that these three things can kind of be broken down into, uh, these nine things, sorry, could be broken down into three clear sections. Um, first of all, we have these kind of specific point solutions. So this is the stuff like additive, augmented reality. Um, and these areas are um, solutions which we believe businesses should adopt where they've got a very clear need for them. So typically these can be CapEx heavy investments, but very, very useful if you have that specific requirement, but also a little bit of a white elephant if you don't. Um, secondly, we see these kind of areas of which we kind of uh, branded up as enterprise IT consideration. So this is stuff like cloud cybersecurity, which actually people are probably um, thinking about and doing automatically in their day-to-day -day lives. They're not specific projects, they're general considerations. And finally, um, the, the area where we believe people can see a real impact in their business quickly is in these high impact accelerators. Um, and where you, you kind of uh, can really focus in on what these things mean are things like um, integrating the solution end-to-end. -end. So when we talk about the digital thread, being able to glue your solutions together better, have a cleaner process, is an area where you can see very, very fast impact and value to your business. Um, additionally, factors like simulation. If you're um, simulating the design and engineering process, you're going to save an awful lot of time and money in R&D. If you can simulate your machine tools um, and prove out your G-code offline, you're mm -hmm. going to save an awful lot of time at machine. So actually, it's these high impact accelerators where we really believe people should be able to focus their time and energy to see the benefits from industry 4.0. Matt it's interesting a lot of what you've just said is what we spoke about years ago and people are really investing in a lot of this right now so what does the future hold you know what what, what do people need to do to get on board with industry 4? I think first of all it's, it's about understanding your business exactly where your challenges are um, today and then looking outside at what industry 4 potentially can do for you being able to meet these two things in the middle, so your challenges and the opportunities in the market. And similarly, really, you probably want to consult somebody throughout that process, so it's something that we're very happy and, and capable of doing as Hexagon, but it's about having that inside knowledge within your business, but being able to kind of consult with an outside perspective that can really bring those two things together to deliver a fantastic industry for solution. And at Hexagon, are you acting almost like a consultancy now with businesses, and what businesses are you talking to? I think, you know, we deal with businesses from the smallest SMEs to the, the largest multinationals. Um, and as a business, yeah, we provide that consultancy role, but that has evolved naturally over a period of time rather than being a specific thing that we've set out to achieve. Because we've got all of these solutions that fit into different parts of people's value chains, we've naturally been able to kind of pick up a lot of expertise as we've gone mm. along the way. We've seen an awful lot of different use cases, different verticals, both traditional stuff like aerospace and automotive, oil and gas, to really the modern industries that are driving our economy forward, things like e-mobility, renewables. Um, so actually it's given us a fantastic perspective in the industry to be able to consult with people, understand their problems, and be able to propose the right bits of industry for to help their business.